Hey everyone, Cindy Olin here with Create Your Own Luck in Love and your host for the Successful Woman's Guide to Meet and Marry Her Man. I hope everyone's having an amazing Friday. If you're on, send me questions, hearts. What we're going to talk about today, I want to dive right in, is talk about, you know, three ways to really create close connective partnerships. I hear from women all the time that, you know, they're dating or they're in a relationship and they feel like the guy stops listening and he's tuning out. So, and believe me, I get it. That's frustrating. Nobody wants to feel like their guy isn't listening or doesn't care what you're saying. So, you know, first of all, one of the things that I would recommend when it comes to this area is look, you know, really try to put yourself in his shoes. Let's say you're dating and you've been dating for a while and you feel like, gosh, he's not listening or he it feels like lights are on, no one's home, and, you know, figure out, try to figure out a little bit about maybe what's going on for him and what he might be experiencing from you. So it's actually taking a good look in the mirror, like, am I tuning out when he talks? Am I not an active listener? Because let's face it, a lot of times when we're first getting to know someone, we're really in tune with them. We're really trying and we're really listening and not tuning out. And then it's easy to take a person for granted when maybe you've been around them a little bit or they do something that annoys you. And frankly, we have that with everyone right um and i think that that is you know that's the key to not you know not being able to fully understand right like we can we can feel these feelings of gosh you know he's not listening or he's not showing up and you know, what do I do about that? So really getting into opening up to communicating around that and letting, you know, finding out what's, what he's experiencing. Or if you've noticed that this is a slight shift in the way he's been before. So sometimes when the newness wears off of a relationship, what happens? Maybe we take it for granted or we're getting back to our routine and we're not quite as in tune. So putting yourself in his shoes and asking him, you know, what's happening with you or I would love to, I would love to get your feedback around this rather than Going from a place of frustration, you know, it's like, what do they say? Contempt without investigation. Going to a place of frustration without actually, you know, coming from a place of compassion, love, and seeking to understand where he's at. And because one thing I know about men is if they're in a relationship with you, they're there by choice, typically. Nobody's putting a gun to his head or he's dating you. He's, he's there by choice. And maybe he's disconnected because maybe he's got something else going on that you haven't been aware of. Or maybe he didn't want to burden you with. And that's where good communication comes in. So, you know, number one is seek to understand, you know, compassion, empathy. And the second is learning how to have good communication, openness, and being vulnerable.
you know, so that could be number three. I've got, I could go on with five to seven tips, but three is being vulnerable with your communication and letting them know what's coming up for you. And you can even use it in those turn, terms. Sorry, I'm messing with my necklace a little bit. Use it in those terms. For example, gosh, I'm, you know, I'm not feeling like we're communicating as much or I've noticed lately it seems like, you know, like, What's coming up for me is I'm I'm feeling like we're we're not talking as often or um, you know perhaps the things I you know I don't know if you have some other things going on or uh, this is really hard for me to share but it it feels I I don't feel like we're talking as much or communicating. And I'm, I'm feeling like there might be a disconnect in our communication. So you're not saying to him, you know, is, is, there, is everything okay? Or, you know, have you noticed this? And give him a chance to respond. Instead of going to, well, I feel like you're ignoring me. Or, like, you know, like you don't care about what I have to say. Because... Truth be told, if that's the way that you really feel, if you feel like you're dating someone or you're in a relationship, and we've all been there, um, and you don't feel like he really cares about what you have to say, then maybe that's time to reevaluate. Or maybe there's something else going on that could be causing him to shut down. Maybe he feels like you cut him off and he's he's feeling shut down. We don't know. But, you know, chances are you're not perfect, he's not perfect. But coming from a place of seeking to understand rather than an adversarial place, it really does create connection. And a man wants to make you happy and it would make me, you know, if he said, gosh, it would make me so happy if I could share something that's been happening with me work-wise, I always love to hear your feedback. It gets him re-engaged and involved with you and what's happening in your life. And it can help you guys to create a deeper connection. I always value your opinion. I like to hear your feedback. So when you're doing things like that, he will hear you. And also really having gratitude for the great things that he does do in the relationship. And I think those are some things that are really highlighting and really important. So if you, if you take some time to listen to learn about where somebody's coming from and look at if it hasn't if there hasn't always been a disconnect can you reconnect and you know knowing that you don't have to do all the heavy lifting but invite him to open up and see what happens so I want to hear from you. I want to hear thumbs up. I want to hear your feedback, your comments, anything that comes up for you around this and try it. You know, vulnerable sharing is so key to really creating deep relationship success. And it helps it helps your guy to actually become closer to you when you're opening up instead of closing down, you know, because we can oftentimes get triggered and, you know, lash out and say, you know, even say something like, gosh, I don't feel like you ever listen to me or you ignore me or, you know, and maybe remember this about men. They're single focused. So if you don't have his attention, chances are he may be 
thinking about something else. So if you say, hey, sweetie, when you have a second, I wanted to share something with you. It's always nice to get your feedback. And if he's able to open up, um, you can, you can really, in a deep, deep level, connect. And he may say to you, oh gosh, I wasn't listening because I was thinking about this, or I was, you know, and especially men, I'll give you guys something that's highly important. When a man, if you're living with a man, or he's picking you up to take you to dinner, there's a transitional point that happens. Right when he comes home from work, he's got these, like, 15 to 30 minutes where he's processing his day. So let him take that time and and it's, you know, there's, it's a transitional period. And then when he's ready, he'll come to you and give you a snuggle or you can put your arm on his shoulder and just smile, say hi, good to see you, and give him that space for that transitional period instead of being like, oh yeah, I wanted to share, blah, 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 right when he walks in the door, it's, it gives him some time to adjust to where he's at, you know, decompress from the day and open up and really spend some time with you. So I hope this is helpful. Please feel free, you know, put your questions, your comments, everything. I wanna hear from you and know that all of your answers will be answered, well, all of, all of your answers, all of your questions will be answered. So I'm sending you guys love. I will see you live tomorrow. Talk so soon. Mwah. Bye everyone.